Welcome back to Top for Repairs. How do you know you have a bad condenser and it's time to replace it? The first time that you know that it is time to check your AC condenser is that your AC is blowing either warm air or it's not blowing cold air or the air that is blowing is not cold enough but you still feel that little bit of cold air coming from the vent. The reason why your AC condenser can still blow a little bit of cold air is because maybe the damage is small. There is probably a small pin size hole on the AC condenser, most likely caused by a small rock. If there's a small hole on the AC condenser, this will cause refrigerant to slowly leak out of the AC condenser. This might take a few days, it might take a few weeks, and sometimes even a month. It depends how large the hole is. One way to tell that your AC condenser has been leaking slowly is that there's a buildup of dirt on the AC condenser. As you can see, the uh, color on it is pretty dark. So that's how you know that it has been leaking slowly. Now, if you had a large leak, this will cause a lot of the pack oil to leak out on the uh, AC condenser and it will look fresh. For example, if you look in here, it is green color. And if you had a massive leak, you see a lot of green oil, which is pack oil, all over the AC condenser. That is how you know you have a large leak. Again, if, if it looks like this, you know you have a small leak. And if you see fresh pack oil all over the AC condenser, then you know the damage was large and you have a large leak. And if you have a large leak, your AC will not blow cold air at all because this will cause all the refrigerant to leak out of the AC condenser quickly. The next time that you know that you might have an AC condenser issue is going to be smell. If inside your cabin smell musty or it smells sour or it smells like vinegar, there's a good chance that the AC condenser is already bad. What caused AC condenser to fail? And the first and most obvious answer is going to be damage. If rocks or pebbles or random road objects impact the AC condenser, it's going to cause a hole and it's going to cause all your refrigerant to leak. The next reason why your AC condenser is probably failing or on its way out is that the fins on the AC condensers are damaged. If the AC condenser fins become pushed in, most likely caused by a random road object, but it did not cause a hole in the AC condenser, this can cause poor airflow. When you have poor airflow, the AC condenser cannot dissipate heat. If it cannot dissipate heat, this can cause your AC system to overheat. The next reason why your AC condenser is working inefficient is going to be caused by an object getting stuck to the AC condenser. For example, if you have a buildup of leaves or twigs running in front of the AC condenser, this can cause the AC condenser to work inefficient. In addition, if a trash bag, a plastic bag, or a grocery bag got stuck right in front of the AC condenser, again, that can cause poor airflow and again, causing the AC condenser to work inefficient. The next reason why your AC condenser is not working efficient or working properly is going to be caused by a bad O-ring. If the O-ring becomes brittle or it ends up cracking, this can cause refrigerant to leak out of the AC condenser connection. The next reason why your AC condenser is not working properly is going to be caused by poor circulation. If there is poor circulation caused by a clog inside the AC condenser, refrigerant cannot flow freely inside the AC condenser. Again, it's going to cause your AC condenser to work inefficient. If you have a very small leak coming from the AC condenser or a small leak at the fitting, this can actually take months for all, all the refrigerant to leak out of the AC system. So what I recommend is to buy a kit that can detect uh, refrigerant leaking out of the AC system. This is going to include a yellow safety glasses. It's going to include a UV light and it is going to include a dye. You could also buy refrigerant that already has dye in it. 
I hope you found this lesson informative. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.